Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Adult and Adult TD95, which with another Transformers Legacy video, and today we're taking a look at the last of the Star Seeker Deluxes that we know of, and that is going to be Road Pig from the G2 universe. Uh, so, there he is, showing off the motorcycle mode. Again, slightly different packaging from the standard releases for Legacy this year, but yeah, retool of Crash Bar. There he is, looking really awesome. I love that angle on the head there. 15 steps, you got the Star Raider logo there. Really nice motorcycle mode, and of course, the same artwork we've been seeing. Excited to see what the next uh, toy line is. Now, at the time that this video is coming out, might have already been slightly revealed for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to have this out right after that four pack video, so. If this goes up right after that, then the PulseCon streams have already happened. I'm recording this the Thursday, or no, a full week before the stream. So, yeah, this opening, or this intro is being recorded <laughs> right before that. So, let's go ahead and get on to Road Pig. And here we have Road Pig out of his packaging and looking really cool. I wasn't kind of sure how well he would do, like, it looked good, you know, from the beginning, but I just wasn't sure how Crash Bar would work as Road Pig, but definitely in robot mode, works fantastic. Uh, so a lot of black plastic, some black paint here for the shoulders, got some nice kind of silvery gunmetal paint for the seat or front of the leg here. You've got gold trim for the fuel tank, as well as the Transformers with the trademark, just like the original toy had. On this side, we got the G2 Decepticon symbol, that gold paint on the rim there. You got a silver Star Seeker logo right there on the front of his foot. You got gold for the headlights. Uh, no paint on this side other than the seat, but you do get some of that red kind of nylon plastic there. Same with the thighs. Uh, forearms are really nice red, I uh, believe standard plastic, as well as some silver paint there. Of course, the silver paint here to mimic the front end of the motorcycle. So he is our third laser cycle character. The only other one remaining is Soundwave, which would be a direct repaint of this. So we'll bring in the other two in a moment, but yeah, we've got some nice gun model there for the mouth plate, some red eyes, uh, red paint for the front. The whole thing is cast in this kind of pinkish, uh, I mean, it's just straight up pink, uh, translucent plastic. I don't know why they left the eyes painted where they could have light piped them, because with that whole thing being light piping, it would have shown up bright. So, And even in low lighting conditions, he still looks dead-eyed, so it would have made that much of a difference. As far as accessories go, of course he does come with his rear wheel that does become a spinning kind of shuriken. And of course, like I said, with Crash Bar, it does work better than Prowls. You just get open like that and it spins perfectly and it comes out of the motorcycle wheel perfectly i don't know why they didn't do something similar in this vein with prowl or again just use the whole wheel uh, plug that in right there you can have a spinning spinning blade weapon or a shield makes me think of the shields that mandalorians use in well the mandalorian and book of boba fett but just to keep it from being lost, we'll just plug it in side here, where it would be for motorcycle mode and primarily for robot mode. We'll also do a comparison with Crash Bar. Does come with these saddlebag weapons, cast in black plastic, painted gold here on the front piece. So just display those. His hands like that, kind of like it shows on the packaging. And these clear exhaust pieces just plug right into his back so you can have the standard kind of crash bar junky on look although with my crash bar i've got them off kind of offset and the blasters here on the forearms so you've got that so yeah let's so bring in the other laser cycles here we have road rocket and Laser Cycle, a.k.a. Laser Cycle Jazz. I mean, that's what the original name for this figure was. They just changed it to Laser Cycle, so 
don't confuse people. But yeah, so we got three out of the four. I believe, yeah, so it's two Autobots, two Decepticons, all laser cycles, so. Yeah. Articulation, still the same. You got ball, or you got pegs for the arms. So it's just basically a swivel at that point. You got up and down at the shoulders. Don't go quite all the way out, but not too terrible. 360, 180 elbows, wrist swivel. We'll go ahead and remove the weapons because there is one configuration I like having them in. You do get a very tight waist swivel. Of course, the head is on a ball joint, so you get 360. You get slight movement side to side, forward and back. Of course, the head goes in on its own. There we go. So yeah, 360 at the waist it is very tight. Forward and back at the hips, all the way out. Thigh swivel, or upper knee, lower thigh swivel. You get 90 at the knee. A little bit more if you move out. Actually, no, it is 90, and then you start dealing with the transformation joint. Ankle tilt works really good on the left side, up and down, do the transformation. With this all in the way and how it you know, interacts with the heel piece here, you don't get a lot out of the right leg. You do get some forward and back. Again, also do the transformation, but can get into some pretty good like kneeling or crouching poses. So one way I like displaying uh, road peg here is removing this exhaust piece, putting it on the forearm. And I can't remember which one of these I put on the back. I think it's this one to put it lower. Maybe it is this one, so it kind of hides. Uh, the inside like that and then just give him this one held like that so you can kind of give him that laser cycle exhaust arm cannon thing and it, it works pretty good so you got yeah so let's go ahead and bring in some of the other star seekers we got locked down ferric cannonball filch and not, why not just throw her in for good measure, because she was a Star Seeker, and she probably will be on my shelf as well. There is Flame War. So, I just need to get Thundertron, and hope they do. It'd be cool if they did a new Axer out of this with a new Axe weapon. Never know. Yeah. Would like to see more Star Seekers done in the future. Just different characters. Would like to see Crumple Zone. Uh, I think Grapple Zone was a Star Seeker at one point. But yeah, so there they are so far. Let's go ahead and focus back on Road Pig. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Road Pig into vehicle mode. We'll just remove all these accessories. This is really the only bit of parts forming that is required. is just the weapons, which is fine. So, first thing, rotate the wrist. 90 or 180 degrees, hold up the arms, take the fist, hold up the arm, take the head, go ahead and fold that back, take the arms and bring them around this way until they tab into the back, just like that. We'll rotate the waist uh, or 90 degrees to the left because the left leg is going to become the front of the motorcycle. Right leg's gonna become the rear. First thing we do here, flip out the handlebars, fold down the front here, bring up the front wheel. And there's a double hinge here that you just wanna collapse down. And these two tabs will go into the slots on the middle of the arms. So that will just come down like that. Forming the front of the motorcycle. Then this side, bring this out. Again, collapse that joint. We'll just tab in like that. And we'll just sit there, bring down the foot. Or you can fold it up like this. Just better stick off like that. You got these two pegs here. We'll just plug onto the side and form the saddlebags. Just take this here. There's a slot 
there that will plug in. And the peg here will just plug right into the top of the fist. Just like that. Same thing on this side. And there we have Road Pig as a motorcycle. So, okay. very nicely done as far as the colors go. I really wish they could have retooled this a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. It, it's fine. I, I am glad they went back and gave him the black wheels as opposed to the red ones that we've seen in some of the official photography of the figure. Just the black looks more... <laughs> Less garish, I guess. It's kind of like uh, the whole thing with uh, Crosscut, where he had the red tires for no reason. So, let me get Crash Bar, and we'll do a quick little comparison. And here we have Crash Bar. So you can see how they compare together. So, as far as color scheme goes, I, I'm definitely leaning towards Road Pig. Just this, I mean, it's supposed to. It looks like a patch job, but just... The, the black, silver, red, gold, and gunmetal really do this figure wonders. And kind of gives it that kind of piratey feel, I guess, with the gold being there. You got some gunmetal, more gunmetal there. But yeah, definitely like this quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get them into robot mode, and I'll show you one quick final thing as far as like the armorizer i'm not going to do the whole armorizer weapon thing because it's not something i care about especially with a non junkion character so just show one little thing that hasbro did to kind of loosely reveal him they kind of leaked him by mistake i don't know i don't know if they if it was by mistake or if it's on purpose i i don't know Go ahead and get this all situated. And it's a very simple transformation, so forgive me for not going over every step. Going back to robot mode. Just figured I'd just at least show it here. Alright, so there he is. So we'll go ahead and take off the arms. We'll bring in lockdown. Go ahead and remove his legs. Fold the arms up like this. Plug the hand into there. Just plug it in right there. Same thing on this side. And there you go. You have a taller lockdown. And you can even Make them a little bit taller if you want by extending the limbs. Well, I think just having it kind of collapse like that to where he's got little leg extensions works because of lockdown being known for his lanky legs. So there you go. You can have a tall lockdown if you want. I'll just wait for some sort of upgrade kit or a proper animated lockdown. So set that off to the side and focus back on crash bar so we can get into final thoughts. Here we go, put those back on. And then we'll do the weapons, like I said, how I prefer to display them. So we got that. This right here on the back. Put this on this side. And there we go. So yeah. There we have Crash Bar. Or not Crash Bar, Road Pig. Don't know why I keep calling him Crash Bar. But yeah, there we got him. And... Yeah, he looks great. Like, I honestly like him quite a bit. A little bit more than Crash Bar, and way more than the other two laser cycles because that uh, Legacy RC mold is just not great. So, yeah, honestly surprised how well this guy turned out and how much I like him. 
Definitely not my favorite of the Star Seekers, but he is up there. I still think Cannonball is my favorite, along with Ferric. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat quick video. I try to keep it quick. Uh, time I'm recording this, it is like two or three days before. I know I opened, I did the opening like a week before. Now we're a little bit closer to PulseCon. Uh, I did, well, it's already too late to mention it, so whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video, and yeah, let me know what you think of the reveals from PulseCon. This should be going up the Monday after, so I probably already did my stream. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out those links below. This will be in the Legacy playlist, so be sure to check that out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video, so so long. Take care.